Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I have been dying to do this video. Some of you may, well you probably already know by the title what this video is and how I have fooled loads and loads of you guys over on Instagram and my Twitter. It has been insane. I can't believe I managed to pull this off for some of you guys. But before I get into the details on how I did this and what it all is all about, make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know it's a push, I know it might be a bit of a struggle, but maybe we can do it with a little bit of luck, a little bit of support. Just smash the subscribe button, guys. But yeah, I went ahead and I was driving home from work last Friday. Today is Saturday, uh, the, after the following, like the next week. Uh, so I did this for a full week uh, and I was driving home and I was like, what video shall I do tonight? Um, and I thought, why don't I fake joining FaZe Clan? Just came to me out of the blue. I mean, the previous night I'd just been scrolling on Facebook and I'd seen like people like faking lives, like the fake being rich, the fake being a celebrity, like meeting all these celebrities. What, and obviously, I'm a gamer. You guys are probably gamers watching this video, maybe. Um, so why don't I, why don't I fake being doing face clan? You know, it's the way everybody wants to be. You know, in the creation like gaming creators or whatever. It's like the dream. You know, face clan is the top of the top. So that's what I went ahead and did. Okay, so we're on my phone right now. This is the home screen of my phone. Uh, I went on Phase K's Instagram. Most of the material I used was off of Phase K's Instagram. Uh, I don't know why I chose Phase K. It's just I did. Uh, maybe because he's a UK Phase member. I have no idea. I just was running different Phase Clans members, looking for pictures which would be easiest to Photoshop myself into. Uh, I literally moved everything out of the way and stood this wall behind me and just took pictures of myself, just with the black background. You know, that blank, should I say? Uh, to make it easy to photoshop me. So as you can see on my phone screen right now, uh, these are the photos I used uh, to try in order to photoshop myself into. I used this one, uh, I don't know who this other guy in the picture is, I'm sorry, I'm not, you know, a die-hard FaZe Clan fan, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. But yeah, I used this photo with FaZe K and this guy, I have the one of FaZe K and Jarvis. Uh, this one, which I didn't go ahead and use. Um, I had this one which I did use but didn't end up posting because it was a very very bad photoshop and this one of uh, I forget who this guy is but I know he's a very very you know he's to do with Minnesota Rocker the CDL team and swag and as you can see these are the photos that I took randomly in my bedroom just to photoshop myself into uh, I did have this photo as well which I didn't end up getting around to photoshopping uh, this photo which I didn't use and yeah basically those are the photos I was going to plan on using and these are the products that I managed to make. So I photoshopped myself into this one of swag, uh, black and white. Trying, as you can see, this is clearly photoshopped. I mean, I managed to get the lanyard okay. Uh, this is the photo I ended up using in, in, you know, at the end product. You can tell now if I tell you it's photoshopped. Uh, I did get pulled up on this one quite a lot. Um, yeah, so this is that one. Okay, we are on my Instagram right now. This is, uh, you know, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I post when videos go live and things like that on here. And I'm going to show you the finished products that I did manage to Photoshop myself into when things decide to load. My internet has been absolutely awful. Call of Duty News tweeting at me, well not tweeting at me, just a little notification. We're going to have to switch to the data boys. The Wi-Fi in my room is not great. Okay, as you can see, we're on, we're on, we're on here right now. I did post stories. The first story I posted before I posted any single photo was me, a picture of my setup, just saying, can't wait for tomorrow, I'm going to LA. Uh, you guys know what's happening. But they didn't know, no one knew what was happening. So that was that. The next day, I went ahead and posted this picture. Just, I got this just off of Google Images. Just landed in, guys. Took this uh, just before we touched down. What a view. Who can spot the Hollywood sign? Uh, as you can see, the Hollywood sign is right there. Uh, this is pretty much the caption I got off this picture. Sorry, I did get it off Instagram. Uh, and Henna's is a friend of mine. He's a YouTuber as well. Check him out. He fell for this one, but he he lost it. He fell for this so, so bad. I'm going to go to the DMs I got off Henna's as well. So, all right, well, on my DMs now, I have a load of DMs. Um, so bear with me on this one. Where is Henna's? Here he is. We have this chat with Henna's right now. So as you can see... Where are we? This is this this is the story I posted. My life is gonna change UK to LA and he he replied this straight away, no way. And I thought I'm going to the face house, bro. Can't believe it, sounds fake, I know, but banks DM me on Twitter. They're they're wanting to change the life of five small creators and I got invited. Paid for my flights and everything, first class is crazy man. And he's like, no way, you remember me when you're famous AF bro. That's insane, good luck. And I carried on you know stringing him on a little bit. You guys can pause the video if you want to read this. 
He said, I won't beg it, bro, but would you mind getting any phase member to say, what's up, Henry? Hope you're well. I lost it at this point. I was literally laid in bed, and I was like, you can't be serious. You believe me right now. This was the only bit of information I'd given him, you know. This is a story. No pictures, nothing at this point. And he put, no. Um, I said, I'm not actually in phase between invited there. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, guys, you know the drill on that one, guys. He fell for this so hard, and there was also some other guy who fell for it completely hard, another friend of mine. That was Wade. Uh, I've played with Wade a couple of times before. He's a really nice guy. I really like, you know, he's a big uh, supporter of the channel. He's actually sound. Uh, I put what you're going to. L he put what you're going to LA for. I told him the same message he had. I literally copied and pasted that one. And he put fucking hell, go on, lad. Good luck, my guy. Uh, yeah, he basically fell for this in crit like so much. I put a story on the next day before I posted a photo saying this is nuts. This was like from two years ago on, this is the old phase house, uh, which I didn't want to use the new one, I didn't want to make this too obvious, so if you could figure it out, you would have figured it out. And he's like, let's go my guy, the phase house, low key, and it's just insane. Um, so let's get straight into the pictures, as you can see all these messages will follow on afterwards. Okay, this was the second picture I posted, uh, still no phase clan, like, you know, with a member of FaZe, okay? I said they hooked my room with G Fuel just after Google, a massive G Fuel stack, and I got four comments with ignore the return like, Henry's that's insane, Wade, madness staying at the FaZe house, insane bro, at FaZe clan, you doing an amazing job, you should hook him up, he's a class player. Talking about me, I presume, I mean, come on man, I've not, how can you fall for this, it's insane. Next one I went ahead and posted, obviously they don't have that many likes, but I didn't get much interaction on Instagram, I do have a lot of inactive followers. Um, I put my bro UK phase having such an insane time, thank you all. Uh, if you guys know which picture this is, the first picture I showed you on my camera roll, I added myself over the top of that. You can clearly tell this is Photoshop, the sharpness of each image is completely different. Five comments again. Uh, we got bang of a photo from Henners. Someone asking me to DM them. I have no idea why. Um, uh, Wade saying Phase K in the photo low key. I ha hope to be there one day, meet them all. And someone else just tagged at Phase K, like just pulling the wool over people's eyes. I looked. That was a video that went up live. Just a random image I posted, and I put next picture. You already know the vibe. Me. Phase K and Jarvis, insane photo as it is. And I put myself in the background, I put myself behind them, otherwise it would have been just so obvious. You can probably tell how obvious it is. And Wade again and Henners, they were just stupid. Phase K and Phase Jarvis, the best UK brothers going low key. Like, what is going off? And this is the most liked photo. This is the one that did the uh, best. I got uh, 69 likes on this one of me and Phase Swag. Uh, I said, I captioned it when you tell Swag he needs you in his Warzone squad, but for real, it was a pleasure to talk to Swag and our predictions for the CDL qualifiers this week, weekend, uh, also our predictions for champs next week. So obviously this wouldn't happen anyway with the coronavirus, why would I be stood right next to Swag at some kind of event? That would have been a dead giveaway for me anyway. Why would I have gone to LA with the coronavirus? I probably wouldn't be allowed to do that. I don't even know what the flights are like. And as you can see, Haney, by the way, I don't know who this is, commented. Wade and Hens again, just stupid. Like, you fell for this so hard. I don't know how you fell for this, boys. But that's crazy. And then just these other two random Fall Out guy, Fall Guys videos I did post. So that was pretty much for the Instagram side of things. How these fell for it, I have no idea. Someone went ahead and messaged me from ages ago. Are you it? Ignore the message with me. I linked to the channel that was from ages ago when he first followed me. I was just asking him to check me out. Are you in phase because you should be? That was Sunday. Insane how people, you know, get this. And this guy's replying to my story twice. Yo, you recruited to phase. Did you win phase five? This was a story I put off of K's highlights. Uh, where he throws a mousetrap on K's hand while Banks throws a mousetrap. So this guy is obviously, did you win phase five? What's going off? I don't know who this is. Just crazy, man, how people fall for this. This guy, I felt so sorry for this guy. He messaged me, he's like, hi, I put hi. Do you play Warzone or Call of Duty or Fortnite? Uh, I didn't end up replying to this, I have been away. I have actually been away for a couple of days in the UK though. Uh, loads of Black Ops 3 clips. And he sent me this picture of him and his phase merge. I don't know if that's because he'd seen my post or what he might are you in phase clan like he must have fell for this like he sent me these pictures in his merch i felt so bad at this point i was like no come on man you are obviously a dedicated fan he's obviously you know loves phase and um, really really felt bad for that guy insane insane stuff like how he fell for it but i mean he looks a young kid obviously he's gonna fall for things but seems a super cool guy I didn't end up replying to his other messages in fact I only just opened them uh, so sorry i didn't reply to your messages but Pretty cool clips and pretty definitely a cool cool outfit you've got on there my friend and let's go on to the people that find me out okay 
this guy I don't know how to pronounce that name on this Instagram name but you guys can see it anyway he messaged me for collaboration which I didn't actually see ages ago so I'm sorry about that my friend uh, he commented on my swag photo the one that got the most attention out of them all Photoshop just commented straight Photoshop boom this kid knew well, I was like damn so I deleted his comment and I messaged him just to let him know like I weren't doing it like to try and be fake I yeah, thought you got me bro, you're one of the few people to catch me out, haha, <laughs> GG, I'm doing an online social experiment, blah blah blah. And he says, yeah, I work with Photoshop a lot in college, so I can definitely tell with the picture, especially you can see the sharp crystal lines on top of your hair, so I knew. Like I said, if you know the Photoshop, as soon as you get told the Photoshop, you can tell instantly, it's so obvious. So that was a guy who did find me out, but we're going to hop straight into Twitter now and see someone else who kind of low-key found me out. Okay, and that's my guy Moz, obviously, Moz, come on mate. Come on, hang on, hang on. You've ignored me right here. I'm just giving you some advice. You're ignoring me. What are you doing, man? But anyway, I tweeted out I have an opportunity of a lifetime the same day I put the first Instagram story on. And it's like, opportunity of a lifetime. Can't wait to hear about it, brother. And I put, trust me, it's insane. I can't believe it, bro. I'll keep you posted. And to do with YouTube, I put, yeah, bro, massively to do with YouTube. Obviously, there was nothing. And then I put the story of the face house on my Twitter as well. He put, you at a YouTuber house? I put, yeah, bro. I put, who's? I'm being nosy AF right now. Sorry. And I put, I'm sure you can figure it out, bro. No need to be sorry, my man. I'd, I'd be the same. If not, my next post, you will 100% get it. Um, and he put, bro, it looks like the old phase joint can't lie. And this, I thought, he's going to know. Moz obviously does Photoshop on YouTube. He's going to know, he's going to be able to tell on these images. So I had to come out straight with him. And I thought, you have to wait and see. And after I put that, I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to tell him. I thought, I put, in fact, bro, I'm going to be straight with you. I'm sat at home in my bed, which I actually was. I was half nine, but kind of early, but you know, I was chilling. He put, haha, bro, you fooled me. Told him the deal, and he, he said I got him. Says you can't, you got me. I can't lie, and crazy how I'm just managing to fool these people like this. Like just, I didn't even put anything. I just put a picture of the old face house. I told I had an opportunity of life on my Twitter. That's all I said, and people were already falling for it. And that was pretty much it. I didn't get the reaction I kind of was kind of hoping for. Uh, I didn't get a massive reaction. I did fool a lot of people. You know, obviously these people, you know, no one called me out apart from them two guys, you know, the first guy on Instagram and, well, Moz didn't even call me out. That was the only guy, only one person out of all them people who liked my photo, the swag photo, for instance, 70 people. It's a lot of people. For one person just to point it out, Photoshop, that's all he commented, Photoshop, he didn't say anything else, which I appreciate, he could have gone in on me, he's like, that's Photoshop, you're so whack, like, something stupid like that, he didn't, so it was cool, it was all cool, and I'm very, very surprised that more people didn't find out. The bottom line here is, what I'm trying to say is, don't believe everything you see online. This was pretty crazy, I didn't, you know, it wasn't massive blow up, I didn't get massive, you know, followers or anything like that. It, nothing changed, nothing really changed, it was just people who were already my fans reacted towards this. Obviously loads of people thought I should be in phase, some people just didn't even do anything, like nothing was ever happening. But yeah, only called out by one guy, it's crazy. Don't believe everything you see on the internet. Maybe I'll try this again at a later date, I'm not going to tell you guys, you never know. So you're not even going to see it coming, I might do it again, I might not. But don't believe everything you see on the internet, bottom line. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys for today's video. Obviously, this is me faking join FaZe Clan. As you can see, it's fake. Sorry to let everyone down. Uh, but yeah, pretty insane results, I will not lie. Apart from that, guys, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you drop a like as well if you did enjoy this video. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter to make sure you don't miss out on the second social experiment I'm going to do. Probably won't ever do one, to be fair. But just follow me over there anyway. But yeah, apart from that, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.